Let's play Willow in super speed. There is an evil witch in this castle. I'm gonna rock her world, y'all. Actually, I don't have enough magic points to rock her world, so I'm gonna have to kill ghosts at some point in this dungeon in order to kind of stock up on the magic points. But you know what? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be like butter. Yeah. Chop that dude in half first. Oh! I hate life, and I hate zombies, and I hate pigs, and I hate bacon, and I hate everything about this situation. I don't hate bacon. Why would I say a thing like that? That was said out of anger, okay? I don't... I did not mean that. I really... Oh, man. Lost the bacon audience, too, man. It's just... Going downhill, that's what's happening. Uh, I think I need this way. Stock up on magic. Oh, the devil eye is fast now, too. Good. Um, so actually, I will stock up on everything. This is a different kind of farming. This is actually a happier kind of farming with the ghosts, etc. Come on, ghost. Okay, so here's what it is. The, uh, magic cane takes 12 magic points to fire one shot. And... Wrong way, Burka. Where are you going? Um, so at level 13, you have exactly enough magic to kill Bavmorda. Because that's the only thing that damages her. Is the magic cane. So you have to basically get through the fight without missing once. Mad Mardikin got... freaking captured again! It's because they only wanted to draw one Mad Mardigan sprite with him tied up like that. And then I throw the magical powder of love and it gets on me. Everybody remembers this scene and then Mad Mardigan confesses his deep felt love for Sorsha, the daughter of Bav Morda. This movie and this game has awesome names. Every character in this story has a great name. Seriously. That's going to be like if I ever give birth to a child, I'm going to name him Mad Mardigan. That's right. Mad Mardigan a bang Skibby is going to be his name. And then if I have a daughter, her name's going to be Lisa Marie. Just saying. You know, why not? I'm pushing the button like it's going to do anything, like it's going to make this text go by any faster. Okay, good. Boss time! This is actually the hardest boss in the game. Um... Believe it or not, General Kale. It's like you don't want to press the attack against Kale. Oh, I've got the Devil Eye equipped, don't I? That was stupid. Oh crap! Oh, he got me. But that's okay, because I continue right outside of the castle. That's what happens when you try to attack a monster with the Devil Eye equipped. Nothing good. And here's actually a concession that this game does that a lot of games back in the day didn't. Like, if you die and you have to replay part of the game, it actually starts you back at full health and full magic. Like, you remember dying in Metroid or Zelda, and you had to come back with like 30 health, and then spend an hour grinding out uh, monsters to refill your stuff? That was no fun, was it? I mean, that was not any good at all. But not Willow. Willow, you come back at full health. And then in this particular dungeon, the last part of the game, you don't really have a lot of distance to go. And if you're fast, you can get past the screens with the little splitting ghosts before they steal any of your magic. Which you kind of have to do if you're really low level like I am. Oh, please, I don't want to have to go through the whole Sorsha Mad Mardigan conversation again. That would suck. Oh, I do. Frick! Frick! Go to blazes with this man. Ugh. That's where Mad Mardigan going is to blazes. It's in Utah. Blazes, Utah. Kind of strange, huh? Their main export is chiclets, believe it or not. That's. 
Like, as bad as my life is, okay, when, like, when I'm feeling really sad or if I'm, like, depressed about something, I can always say at least I don't live in Blazes, Utah, Chicklet's capital of the world. And then it cheers me up. And then I go to the deli and I get an Italian sandwich, and that cheers me up even more. Now, she says there's a treasure chest below the castle, and there is if you go down there and take a look, but there's no point to doing that because it doesn't trigger a plot flag or anything. You still have to come up here and kill Kale anyway. So just save yourself the time and trouble. Now, if you stand perfectly still, he hacks at you. But he can't actually damage you. And then you have time to slash him once and get out of the way. Oh, but sometimes the fight does not go your way. Like that, that sucked. Oh, I gotta go through the whole freaking Sorsha conversation again. This guy did not give me any problems on my test play. And before you say anything, no, you can't cast magic spells during boss fights like that. Like, you can't even use the heal ball if you have it equipped. I don't know why. It's just... Sometimes magic works and sometimes it doesn't. And that's what makes boss fights... I'm not going to say difficult in this game, because none of them are really difficult, as long as you know the patterns and things. But if they don't go your way, like if you take one hit, Willow does not have much of it um, in the way of invincibility frames. If you take one hit, you're probably going to take two. And bosses do a lot of damage in this game, in case you have not noticed. But that's okay. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Oh, I lost magic points. Okay, hold on, I gotta... There we go. I could just, you know, speed this conversation up and use a little button to... But I don't know. That kind of would ruin the whole 150% speed motif, because it would be like 150% except for one conversation, which is at 4,000%. And I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be that guy. Also, it would ruin the music. The music sounds fine at this speed. It sounds even better at the regular slower speed, but whatever. But this game kind of makes me wonder, why don't why don't licensed games have this kind of quality anymore? This is a really fun game, and it was really fun when it first came out. It was, like, excellent when it first came out. But nowadays, like, licensed games just don't get this kind of love. Maybe because they don't land on the desk of a real development studio like Capcom. But, I don't know. I just have not gotten into any of them. Kind of a shame. It's like, you know what, I don't even need licenses from new stuff. I could just do with a new Willow game. Go ahead and make some more Willow, guys. I don't care. That would be awesome. A little midget with a sword hacking skeletons and stuff apart. It's good times. Okay. General Kale. Take three. The only really difficult boss in the game, General Kale. Ha 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 ha. Whatever, dude. And he just goes nuts like that. That's all he does. It's like there's not even any variance in his attack. And if you blink, you'll miss your opportunity to strike. I guess that's why he's the evil general, because he's only got one combat strategy. And you can't get to the side of him either. If you go to the side, he just goes nuts and just destroys you. It takes like two seconds for you to die. I think my problem was I was trying to slash him instead of stab him, and stabbing him is quicker. Get in, get out. Okay, the boss music is kind of crappy at this speed, but I think it's pretty crappy at any speed, to be perfectly honest. Ah. Yeah, it fills my health back up. Alright. Sweet. Now I think Sorsha and Mad Mardigan will be gone, though. Because killing General Kale triggers that plot flag that means you can walk from the front door of Nokmar Castle all the way to the boss.
only dungeon in the game to get two different songs, two unique musical tracks in the Evil Purple Castle. How come... Who decided that evil in video games would be represented by a dark purple color? That seems pretty ubiquitous. Am I wrong about that? It's like anytime you have someone with, like, shadow or evil or whatever, it's like purple. Yes, that's what we're going with. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Evil Bab Morta. Now, here's the thing. I've got exactly enough magic to beat her first form with the cane. If I miss a single shot... I cannot kill her. <laughs> Let me make sure I've got it equipped. Yep, magic cane. Okay. Because otherwise I would just spam the cane. But because I have to be careful to hit with every single shot... And her little fireballs will deflect my shots. Like, they'll interrupt them and... That's no good. Ouch. Got her. Yes, sweet. And then she like begs for her life, like crazy Dr. Wily. No, Willow, don't! I'll be destroyed! Yeah, that's kind of the freaking idea, woman. Come on, come on. Yeah, last boss right here. What? You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. I don't care if you set the floor on fire. I stomped you. Warrior of prophecy, woot woot. I talk smack to video games, I don't care. And I like how they give credit to Finn Rizel and to Alora Danan as though they did anything. I want that purple castle though. I would live there. I would have to rename it though, because I wouldn't want to call it Nakmar. I would call it Castle Griffinheart. I wouldn't. That sounds really awful. And you know what? If you have a castle, you have to have peasants to work the land. And I think I have made my stance on peasants perfectly clear over the course of this LP. So. Fishman! Give it up for monster designer Tall Knob. I love Capcom's credits rolls back in the back in the day when everybody had awesome names. I'm sorry, I just like the music, so I don't want to talk over it. And now Tyr Asleen Castle is golden and majestic because Willow saved the world. And now he has to go back to his pig farm, where he mines dirt for a living. E dot N dot D. The end. I'm Brickroad, this has been Let's Play Willow. Thank you for watching.